Murkowski. B cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. All right, we got a stolen vehicle. I always hate when I walk around in circles like that because I, I can't ever figure where the fuck I'm going. Bring in the longer the hot sheet gets. Pays the rent though. Keep Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. I should have actually apprehended that guy last time instead of shooting and killing him like that. Can you drive to this one? Just to cut down on time, I'm gonna let him drive. The fuck is he? Oh, there he is. Anyways, thanks for all the likes you keep dropping. Uh, it really means a lot. It's actually showing you guys one more. <laughs> They're calling her the doll. You know? Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? Well, Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having your death. Strewn all over the front page. Enough to answer questions. I can't get enough of this game. Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Where the fuck is this guy going? Oh god. Wait, is the guy on the billboard that I just saw? It, it looks a lot like uh, Walter Bishop from uh, Fringe. Is that the same guy? Somebody tell me otherwise. It looks just like it. Maybe I'm Enough crazy. games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Bitch. Uh oh, he's about to hit someone else. What the fuck? We're going back. Every time I see some stuff doing this, I always think of that movie Back to the Future for some reason. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. There we go. Keep yourself up! Now! Oh, fuck. Did you just keep hitting him or what? All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get braced out of the car folks. now. I'll call it in. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Damn, he ain't playing. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Huh. Vehicle reported is stolen. Maybe he's telling the you truth. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, you know what? I think he's telling the truth. I don't usually do this often. Here we go. And the ownership papers? From the same place. Ooh. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Okay. Motive for flight. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. Oh, he's full of shit. Look at him. I wonder what happens if you just stare at him for a while. Shit, I don't know if it's doubt or lie in this one. Oh, man. Let me see. Well, I'm going to use intuition just because I don't want to mess this up. I've been, like, perfect so far. Okay, doubt. 
you better give us something, Cliff, or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because, because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Vehicle purchase details. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. All right, I'm, I, I don't think he's lying about that at all. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arranged for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. Do you know who my father is? We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Well, I'm letting him drive. I ain't driving. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Uh, where are we going? Coombs Auto, I guess that's what it's called. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Cook. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. Dude's a goofy motherfucker. Look at this guy. That's a joke, too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. I guess you have to be a certain type of personality to work at a car dealership. Well, what now? Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. It's the first time someone's actually handed me something like this. Gene Archer. 146 North Fremont Avenue. Well... Check this thing. What is this? Signed by Cliff. All right. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. Well, how was he arrested for Grand Theft Auto? I don't get that. Because he was driving like a maniac, probably. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Details of transaction. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. I'm gonna go with truth. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Description of suspect. Order and prop. Okay, let's do this. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. He seems legit. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the time. Oh, shit. We're getting to the bottom of this quick. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. He kind of looks like he's full of shit. I'm going to doubt that. 
Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. Suspicious transaction. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Look at his face. That's the face of a man who's either lying or doubt. Ah, oh, shit. I think the doubt's like the most used thing in this game. I've, I've got to use it. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. I didn't think cops could even joke like that. I guess in the 40s it was a little bit different. Did you double check all the paperwork? Who's it made out to? What? I guess I'll double check everything. Hang on. It's showing like I need to double check it again, so let's look at this one more time. Oh, here we go. So, wait. There was more questions to ask or whatever? I mean, is that it? I'm gonna look on the other side of this. No, nothing? Alright. Maybe there was, like, more questions I could ask him. Or maybe sure not. I can't interest you in a nearly new car, son? I'm all but giving them away to servicemen and cops. I I can't talk to the guy anymore. I, I don't know, because there was, like, more information on there. Okay, well, well, whatever, you know. I guess I'll make a call really quick. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. Get on the horn. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. I need an address on a marquee printing company. Marquee printing company, sure. Just a moment. Aliso Street, near San Pedro. Messages for me, please. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thank you. All right, let's go and let's go and interrogate this uh, this James guy. I love the way the game actually plays. I, I hate I missed playing it when it first came out. Oh, what could have been. You know, it, it probably would have been a pretty big. Uh, so where do you want to go? Oh shit. If I go to a police station, I'm interrogating that guy. Yeah, let's do that. This is I don't like to make hey, these videos too long, and I don't like to spam American you guys, but uh, if you want a lot of this, just keep doing what you're doing. Showing that support. Detectives, Velasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. Goddamn captain's making me resubmit the paperwork. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I'm gonna walk around for a little bit. Guess we'll go through here first, though. You crummy bastard. James Velasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Son, you're a couple of shingles short of a fool. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. 
Hey, I can't even tell the difference. Itself, you know? Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at 10 years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Oh, damn, I got that right. I, had, I thought I got it wrong for a minute. I guess the little chime music means you got it right. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Nope, he's bullshit, he's lying. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, we could compare it to archers, you know? We could try that. So that's why you both have the same address printed on your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? Auto theft racket. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. He's so full of shit. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Stolen vehicle. Okay. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in the east downtown. I kind of doubt that, but I, I keep, I don't know, I guess everything's doubt and lie. Doubt, lie, doubt, lie, doubt, lie. <laughs> I'm about to go doubt again on this one. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up. Now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're going to help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. And we'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're going to check if this information is worth anything. And if it is... I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightfall. Gordon Lightfall. Here. I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Prider. Alright. Nope from Ray Pinker. Let's do this shit. Okay, um... Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Shit. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Well, in that case, I'm driving. For a change. So this mission, are these you missions are getting fine? longer and longer. So I'm trying my best to, uh... Fuck this, here we go. Taking a shortcut. Get out of the way, bitch! Come on! We don't want to lose her! It's like right here? Quite a lot of money. The nerve of some LAPD. People. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. 
The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Oh, shit. I want to say she's... She's... I'm, I'm gonna have to doubt it. But I'm not sure. I'm tempted to use the intuition. I'm gonna try it. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're gonna do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? Oh, she's lying. You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know him. Oh, shit. Let me, this is the only thing that really I can think of. The legitimate pink slip. You aren't sharp enough to lie to me, Gene. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that too. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? I don't know. I'm, I'm shit. I'm about to use intuition. Let's ask the community. Okay, good. I'm trying my patience here, Gene. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. Was that it? Is that the end of the case? I don't think so. Anyways, that's where I'm going to stop the video. It's getting pretty long. I don't want to, uh... Oh, I got something. Anyways, thank you all for the likes. Keep it up if you want more. Uh, I'm going to be spamming this. I hate to do that, but you guys seem to be liking this series. So, I love you all, and I'll see you later.